Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. So we're doing another monkey's fist tutorial. I know you guys love those. So the monkey's fist, uh, you know, we use them for our big Larry toys and uh, I've got my Delrin Titans here, new favorite of mine. But anyways, yeah, I've used the monkey's fist a lot for these tutorials and we're making a monkey's fist key fob, but in this case, it is a closed loop, as you can see. So most of the time when you tie a monkey's fist, you have the two terminal strands coming out this way, and these are not joined. But in this way that we're gonna tie it, it's gonna have a closed loop. And also, uh, we're not using any marble or ball bearing. We're using just uh, paracord itself. There's a nice little diamond knot tucked in there. And uh, it's nice and light. It makes any nice addition to a backpack or something like that if you're fan of the monkey's fist and uh, that's what we're tying today guys that's the uh, closed loop monkey's fist key fob with no marble All right hope you guys will enjoy this one and uh, remember if you want to support the channel you can check out those uh, affiliate links down below as you can check out my influencer store on Amazon and also if you really want to you can check me out on patreon and see what I have to offer there All right guys that being said let's get into the tutorial okay so I've got my piece of paracord I'm gonna start off on one end and you're gonna we're gonna tie a uh, single strand diamond knot or the Celtic button knot on this one end section here so we're gonna start off with one side give yourself a couple feet to work with and you're gonna start off by making a loop like so and then make a second loop and make sure those um, those strands are looped over in front like so Okay, then next we're going to take this working strand. We're going to go over the first strand, under the second one, through the middle, over, and under, like that. Okay, then take this end, bring it around and back to the right side, like so. And then now see this section here. You're going to go over the first strand, under the next two, and then bring it through the middle, like so. Okay. And then pull that shut. Just kind of shape it and form it as you cinch. Okay. Now get the uh, night the knot decently tight because it'll help uh, it'll make it easier to cinch so you don't lose your place so now uh, when you have your knot like this we're gonna cinch all this excess here out so that the knot ends up right about here okay so we're going to look just look for the strand that coordinates to that one see then I'm gonna pull it all the way here just leave a little bit left and we're gonna clip that off just because it'll allow you to keep the knot tight. So pull all that excess to the other side and cinch up your knot on that one end like so. Okay. Okay, so I got that diamond knot tied. See, it's all the way to the end and I snipped and melted the excess. Okay, now we're going to tie our monkey's fist. So I'm going to take that knot, kind of sandwich it in between my index and middle finger. And then we're going to start the first pass of winding. So we're tying, we're going to tie three strands or three passes around this side here. Try to keep that diamond knot in there. So we did three on this side and three on this side. Now we're going to take this strand that's the opposite end of this strand. And now we're going to start going around this way. Okay, so you can actually think of it like I'm going in from behind here come towards you and this bottom part will be the loop here like so okay so that's one set of passes now we're going to start winding this way uh, I guess you can say horizontally okay so start winding the same three passes around
Okay, and there we go. We got our three passes now. So if you notice here, I have to do one more pass here. So I'm going to take my fingers out and try to hold everything together. Make sure this stays like this. Okay, keep those two strands separate. Keep it like that. And then from here, we're going to go around and behind and through now up and down this way. Okay, so now we're going to go through the top and bottom gaps. All while keeping that cord on the other side in the same orientation. Okay, so that's what that looks like there. Now we're going to put it through the top and bottom. Same thing, three passes. And there we go. That's the last pass. Okay. All right. So now it's just a matter of cinching out all the excess. Okay. So to cinch um, this, at this point, you can determine how much you want for your loop here. I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. So I'm going to pull the strand slightly through like that. And then I'm going to start working that, that uh, excess all the way through. So we're actually going to work it to this outer end because that's going to be the waist end. But we'll have a slightly different way of trimming it. Okay, so now just continue working that excess through the monkey's fist. So we're going to have to go... Sorry, this way. I was going the wrong way. Let's go this way. Yeah, we, we may have to work that excess all the way through this loop. So my tip is just cinch slowly and carefully. Um, and make sure your strands stay nice and lined up. That's how you get a really good looking monkey's fist. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is where you kind of determine the length. Make sure it's not twisted up. So I want my key fob to be about that big. So work that excess all the way through. Okay. All right. So I got that monkey's fist cinched up nice and tight. It looks pretty good, I might say. So now uh, for the excess cord, you can just snip and singe it as it is like that. Um, I think that looks a little ugly. So what we're going to do is we are going to snip it, going to snip off that excess cord like so. Now um, I'm going to actually melt this just a little bit. I'm not going to flatten it though. So melt it a little bit just so we don't have too many frays going on. I'm just going to mold it to a point there. Okay, so now we're actually going to bring that little nub. I'm going to tuck it underneath these three strands here and work that little bit of excess all the way back through and it'll just end up in the loop here. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I think it looks a bit better. So just to show you this part, I'm gonna carefully, very carefully, don't pull too hard, because um, if you do, it could come out and then you're kind of, uh, you know what I mean. So pull that through ever so carefully. You can even just use your fid and just tuck it in Okay, there we go. So that's more or less hidden. I'm not going to tug on it anymore because I don't want to risk it, you know, undoing. So then now, carefully on this side now, pull that slight amount of excess through to the other side of your monkey's fist. 
just en enough so that it comes out of this loop section. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. We are done. Got that excess cinch through and the little end there is more or less hidden and it looks pretty good. So I gave myself a little bit of extra length just so you can, um, you know, do the kind of lark's head or just hook this on to a, you know, zipper pull or a backpack or anything like that. Um, or you could always just put a key ring on it and it'll look nice and clean. So that is it, guys. The closed loop monkey's fist uh, key fob with uh, no marble in it. So you don't need any marble, just paracord itself. And I think that turned out really wonderfully. Hope you guys will use this one and uh, yeah, make the most of it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will definitely see you on the next video. Bye.